The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines says politics has nothing to do with its partnership with the State Grid Corporation of China. The NGCP stressed this is in the face of the territorial dispute between the two countries in the West Philippine Sea. George Bandola reports. The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines clarified that the State Grid Corporation of China is currently maintaining a minority share in the country's power transmission service. Majority shares are still kept by the Filipino industrialists led by Henry C. Jr. I would like to emphasize that they are merely investors who help us with technology. Uh, they do not control, uh, they do not um, in any way uh, influence uh, how Apart from the, te the technolo technological aspect, they do not influence um, anything beyond the technological aspect of the business. In other words, there's no tension yet. Tapos sasabutuhin tayo ng China. This is a business endeavor. And like any business, it is run professionally. Despite the ongoing political conflict between the China and the Philippines on the issue of West Philippine Sea, NGCP assures that the power transmission service will not be affected. NGCP also denies any pressure from the Chinese investors that will put the country's transmission operations in jeopardy. 60% Filipino. That's still the controlling, um, the controlling majority of, uh, of the company. That's also, well with, uh, that's also in compliance with the constitutional limitation on uh, foreign ownership of a public utility. So we're safe there. Number two, uh, they operate in Philippine soil. Like I said, Apart from techni te technological, technical advisors um, from SGCC, everyone working in NGCP is Filipino. So again, uh, that's a layer of protection there. Um, and of course, uh, here in China, the economic managers, the, the business managers, are separate from the political managers. In an effort to prove that Chinese investors value interest in the Philippines power sector and GCC has sent its technical team to typhoon stricken provinces immediately after the devastation of typhoon Haiyan in late and summer. From China with cameraman Danny Mateo for People's Television, George Bandola.